The sample plots 244 function takes differential equation, a first order equation, dy dt is f of ty, and draws some sample solution curves to that equation. You'll take the differential equation, the bounds on t and y, a value t0 to the initial condition in t, and then a possibly vector of y values to be the initial value at that point t0. Let's look at the function real quick. That's exactly what we see here. We have f, the function, again, an anonymous function of two variables, t comma y, bounds on t, bounds on y, a value t0, and a possibly vector of y zeros, which will be the initial condition at that time t0, as well as the colors you're going to draw the curves in. I will note this is not entirely accurate in the sense that it does a truncation thing near infinity. So if you have a function that's going to explode or go to negative infinity, it's going to truncate the solution so you can actually plot the entire time, which means for very, very large values, this is not accurate, but it will give you a good enough picture on the range y min to y max to do the right job. So let's now use an example and see what this looks like. Take our function. It gives us the prompts here. We again need the anonymous function of two variables. So at t y, t plus y again, t min, t max, y min, y max. t zero we'll say is zero. For y zero, we'll just say start at one. And we'll do this in black. And that's what we get. It draws the curve just like that. There it is. It fills up this range. Note that it starts at one zero where it's supposed to and fills in both back and forward to the entire range minus three to three. It cuts off here at two because they also set the y axis to cap out at four. And this is went above that point from there on out. I can also do this with a vector of initial conditions. So I can change this one here to be now the vector of say one and zero and minus one. And I can run that code. Now I get all three curves. The t0 must be a single value, but the y can be a vector. The way this is set up also works really nicely with the quiver function from before. So I can put the two next to each other and I will get the quiver plot or the slope field and the curves drawn on that same graph. So do something like this, or let's take our function before, which was f t squared minus y squared. We'll do the quiver plot. we will put this in blue and then we'll do the sample plots in red. And if we run this now, and then for the sample plots, take the same main conditions, we'll use zero as initial t value, and we'll take y values from minus two up to two at intervals of one, and draw this in red. If we run that, we go what we would expect. We get a quiver plot, we see the two plots that come out of the quiver function, the non-scaled and the rescaled one. On the rescaled one, the last one, we now have sample curves drawn at each of the different points. They all go through zero, two, 0 minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 2, and they follow trajectories like we expect that they would. That's the sample plots function and how you can use it to sketch some solution curves to different differential equations.